I'm Winnikins at World Dairy Expo, and we would like to thank our sponsors, including Commerce Sales and Service, AMPI, Where Chevrolet, your Featherlight dealer of Bangor, the Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, and Anabis Silo. I am with uh, Dan Rice. He is uh, from Firth, Nebraska, and he is uh, with the uh, Dairy Checkoff's uh, Sustainability Council. And we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Dan's uh, operation. And Dan, I guess sustainability for dairy farms. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, sustainability <laughs> in dairy farming, uh, yeah, to, to me, is, is my dairy farm going to be the next generation? And what do I have to do to assure that? Uh, that's really sustainability at the heart. What are some of the things that you do with uh, your farm for sustainability? Well, first of all, um, all dairy farmers are, have a great sustainability story to tell. And uh, it's about caring for the land. It's about uh, caring for your cows. So uh, what we do on our farm, some of the things that may be a little bit different is uh, we're a vertical integrated farm. We process our own milk. We have our own compost operation. Uh, we engage the community, which really comes to sustainability as well, because you have to have the permission to, to farm in, in today's world. So we have to engage the community, and uh, we, we try to do that every, every time we get a chance. We are talking again with uh, Dan Firth, or Dan Rice from Firth, Nebraska, and about his uh, dairy farm and some of the sustainability issues that he deals with. Now, Dan, one of the things you did when you first started was you just did something simple as an energy audit, and that actually probably saved you a lot of money. Yeah, uh, through the USDA, there's actually funding available for energy audits, and what that shows you is it goes through and shows you areas in your operation where you can become more efficient and uh, practices that you can put into place. And on our farm, uh, in the first year, it saves eighteen thousand dollars, which uh, every little bit helps. So it's, it's a great uh, tool to use. And uh, if you go to the U.S. Dairy uh, Sustainability website. There's a, a whole lot of information there about sustainability and how we can do a better job as a, as an industry. And, uh, and, and one of the things is just telling our story because dairy farmers are so uh, sustainable and have been for generations. So we just have to tell our story to our consumer because they don't understand. What's been the reaction? From the consumer yes. standpoint, um, consumers are very surprised. They don't realize that we're recycling our water four times before we use it for irrigation on our crops. They don't realize uh, what kind of uh, extent we have in our manure systems uh, and that we're using all the nutrients back on our, on our ground uh, in ways to uh, cut fertilizer costs. So um, they're, they're very surprised by what we do and uh, they're very interested in what we do. Well, again, Dan, it's uh, some fascinating stuff. The dairy uh, checkoff. We'll have more information as well, USDA, once uh, that website opens back up. We'll have more information too, Dan. And we appreciate you joining us. Thank you. That is uh, Dan Rice. He is from uh, Firth, uh, Nebraska. From World Dairy Expo, I'm Brian Winnikin.